Hey, what's up, guys? Um, basically, I was watching a video the other day, and uh, it was supposed to be on goalie tips, but the kid that was doing the video wasn't a goalie. I'm gonna save his name because I don't want to badmouth people on here. So, um, yeah, basically everything he said was only a preference, not necessarily like a rule by goaltending, and it all referred to the stringing. It was like, oh, only, you know, don't use anything but 12 diamond mesh in your goal sticks. That's not true. It lacrosse is a game of preferences. And I commented on his videos, and I know that there's a little button that says remove comment. So I'm sure it'll just be removed. So I did one better and made a video. But anyway, um, yeah, he says only use 12 diamond and then when you string a stick, don't put, you know, three across or all straights or however many straights you want. He's like, you, you got to do it this way. This is the only way to do it. And it's not right. I mean, if your stick has a channel, it, there's no need for a V. I mean, yeah, it looks cool. I mean, some people say it adds or lowers width. In my experience, I haven't noticed that. But um, my answer to his 12 diamond thing is um, if 12 diamond is like a godly substance, um, why is it some of the um, college and professionals are switching over to 17 diamond and 20 diamond? Um, just consider that. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I have my goal sticks here. I have this one, my 20 diamond ninja mesh, that I'm sure you guys have seen in plenty of videos. Not 12 diamond. And then I've got this one that I play around with in the yard. And that's my uh, Team America stick. It was originally for a friend, but um, he decided he didn't want to be a goalie anymore, so I bought it back from him. And uh, neither one is 12 diamond, so. Have fun with that. Um, chew it over, eat it with your breakfast, whatever. Um, so, also in this video, um, before I forget anything, I don't think there was any more points I wanted to make to that idiot. But, um, so, another thing I want to say in my video, um, my affiliate program, I've gotten a lot of interest. Um, one thing I do want to get is... A Canadian stringer. Somebody that's in Canada already and I can just refer people to him or her. I mean I know girls play too so I'm sure they probably figured out pocket ideas. Um, because I want to eliminate the border shipping and everything like that because customs like holds on to stuff for ridiculously long times just to make sure there's not any hidden substances. So basically I figure if I have an international stringer, like somebody in Canada, I can just refer all of our little buddies up up north, you know, um, to them because I don't want to pay 50 bucks for shipping and then wait like two weeks and then the guys take forever to get their sticks back. So that's that. Um, otherwise, with the affiliate program, I'm looking at a ton of videos. Um, as you guys know, I'm also an affiliate of Weston's, but um, I'm mainly only his goalie expert, so um, I kind of started my own because I know there's a lot of talented stringers. So if I ever get bogged down, which I'm not yet, but this is what the affiliate program is for because I know the season's just around the corner and I'm going to need people to string, probably. I'm not saying definitely, but probably. And I'm going to do it just like his. Um, basically, if I refer people, you know, just pass along, like, say if you charge 16 to $20 for a, a string kit or a stringing for somebody, I just ask, like, two or three bucks. You know, not a lot. I'm not looking to get rich off of this affiliate program. I'm just trying to help you guys get your name out there and maybe take some of the work off of my back. But currently, 
I've only got about five heads to do, so if you're thinking of considering me to string head, by all means, send your sticks. Um, otherwise, uh, check me out on Facebook, Medlack Strings, um, and uh, I'll be continually watching some of your videos and your stringings, and uh, I'll make my decision probably by uh, maybe the middle to end of next week-ish. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.